going to be a quick and dirty tutorial on how to set up and use virtual litching mission. Now you need three main parts. Uh, you have to be set up with um, the uh, litchi hub. You'll need Google Earth Pro installed and of course the application itself. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get Virtual Litchi Mission, VLM. I'll provide links to this in uh, the description. Now he's got it saved on uh, Dropbox, but you don't need to have a Dropbox account. Just go to this uh, button up on the top right and pick Direct Download. And that'll get you the VLM application. Then you need Google Earth Pro, the desktop version. So we'll download that. And now we have the basics, the two the two main applications that you need. So first I'm going to install Google Earth Pro. And if you get this prompt, just go ahead and run. Same thing with this one. Okay, I'm going to close that for now. Now we'll install VLM. And if you get this particular prompt, just click on more info and then you'll get this button run anyway. Now you have the two applications that you need. Now I'm already signed in here uh, because I had done a run through of this earlier. Now at this point you can either create a new mission just like you do on the hub or you can pick an already created mission to run it virtually and see how it looks and tweak and do whatever so I'll pick oh let's see doesn't really matter uh, we'll pick this one this is a little mission that I had set up uh, for my sister's acreage. Now here comes the magic. I'm not going to make any changes. I'm just going to go ahead and run it. But the way you do that is you export as a CSV and then it will automatically load Google Earth Pro and put all of the flight parameters in under temporary places. Now you see that uh, the mission name is there. Just double click on that. And then under that, it's always going to be a virtual mission. Now, if you do all this from scratch, 
the defaults are to have some of the diagnostics turned on, which is this flight path and waypoints. Personally, I prefer to try out missions without all of that turned on. And then you just click on virtual mission and it'll start running. And this, that, that, now you can see exactly how they're pretty, or you're pretty close. You know, it may not be 100% exactly how it's gonna, gonna look when it comes out, but for the most part, it's gonna be close enough. Now, say I wanna make a change. I'm gonna go back to VLM. And let's say I want to move this waypoint somewhere else. I'll move this waypoint, or sorry, uh, point of interest, POI, over to here. I have to click on missions, export a CSV again. Then when you go back to Google Earth, you'll have this prompt to reload the mission. So I did that, reloaded the mission, and again, I don't want the diagnostics. Now you see that it started with uh, uh, the camera pointed at a different location. Uh, you can also, if you want to speed through it, you can speed it up with this button here. You can really speed it up if you want to run the mission faster so you can see all the camera angles. And that is basically it. Oh, of course. Once you're done, you'll want to save the mission to the hub. Otherwise, it won't be available to download to your device. And you can either write over the mission that's already there or give it a new name. So I'm going to call it something else. I'm just going to add test2. I have a sloppy naming system. And that's it. We're done. That's, that's all there is to it. But you have all of the same things for the waypoints as you do uh, on the hub when you when you use the hub online but now with the additional option of being able to run it as a 3d mission under Google Earth Pro that's it